How muscles work and why they sometimes don't. Our muscles do a lot of work for us. We all know they make movement possible. Every muscle is made of thousands of long strands that contract, creating movement in the body. These contractions put a strain on the system, leading to little tears in the muscle fibers. This is called contraction-induced injury, and it happens to everybody. It's why people can feel sore after exercising. Protecting muscles from too much injury is where certain proteins, including dystrophin, have a vital role to play. Ah, yes, there he is. Look at him go. These proteins connect our muscle fibers together so that strain on muscles is spread evenly when the muscle contracts, similar to threads in a rope working together to strengthen and stabilize the muscle. When muscles are working properly, tearing is minimal and repair is quick. Soon the damaged muscle is back online doing what it needs to do. Sometimes key parts of the muscle are not working, so the muscle is susceptible to damage from muscle contraction. We see this in muscular dystrophy, a group of diseases that includes Becker and Duchenne muscular dystrophy. In these diseases, dystrophin is only partially functioning, as seen in people living with Becker, oh yes, or totally absent, as seen in people living with Duchenne. That means that when muscles contract, force from the contraction isn't spread out over the muscle, which can damage the muscle fibers. In contrast, in fully functioning muscles, muscle contraction doesn't cause excessive injury. But in people with Becker and Duchenne, damage can be more frequent and severe when their muscles are contracting. The muscle membrane can become leaky and let unwanted visitors like calcium inside the muscle cell, causing a complete fiber breakdown. Over time, the muscle gets inflamed. And instead of being able to repair itself, scar tissue and fat are laid down. When this happens, we often see muscles swelling at first from the stress and then shrinking as they become less effective and are used less. This muscle wasting is also called atrophy. Damaged muscle fibers don't do their job and are weak, which puts more strain on the remaining fibers whenever they contract, resulting in a cycle of continued muscle damage. Over time, the impact of muscle damage caused by contraction in Becker and Duchenne causes loss of muscle and therefore loss of strength and function. Moving around becomes harder, standing up and walking become a challenge or sometimes impossible, and many people need a mobility device to get around. Although there's no cure for Becker or Duchenne today, medical researchers are looking for treatments with urgency and focus. Protecting muscle is a key goal in muscular dystrophy research, and there are many ideas being explored to protect muscle from injury caused by muscle contraction and to preserve function to improve the lives of those with Becker and Duchenne muscular dystrophy. In the meantime, the progression of Becker and Duchenne can be best managed through working with your care team to identify options for protecting and preserving muscles. Your doctor and care team can help you monitor your disease or that of your child and build the most effective plan to manage it.